Welcome back to The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. Uh, let's take you back in history. Today in 2018, something very uh, sad and fortunate happened uh, where uh, the life of Silva Danaproba uh, was lost in that helicopter crash. He died alongside uh, 14 other, four other persons, I beg your pardon, in that crash. Now the crash, the helicopter crash happened shortly after the match with uh, West Ham United and um, like I mentioned earlier on, four persons died. Uh, it was really, really bad. It happened at the King Power Stadium in Leicester City, that's in England. Now, <clears throat> uh, the pilot, four passengers, including the club owner, uh, were killed in that crash. I saw a video of that, uh, it really brought tears to my eyes. And uh, because at the time, uh, you, you had this club that had a very, very cordial relationship with the players, managers, and what have you. Now, two police officers at the time and staff of the club, uh, when they were leaving the stadium, attempted to rescue the helicopter, but it was too hot for them, so they had to retreat because of the flames that were really coming. Now, an investigation, of course, this is a developed climb. You find that, that investigation would, all, uh, would be carried out. Now, all of the investigations suggest that uh, maybe there was a collision with a police drone as a possible cause. But however, it was also reported that uh, the, the helicopter lost control and that was what led to that particular clash. I'm hoping really that, uh, you know... And this, was, would, mm. this was just about a year or two years after Leicester won the uh, uh, Premier, uh, Premier League mm. um, in 20, the 2015-2016 season. Um, and this happened in 2018, yes, about two years after. Um, and so it was still, it was a time when, you know, a lot of people, you know, were still very, very emotionally connected to Leicester City, you know, and their ownership, you know, and, and um, it, so it hurt way beyond just Leicester. It hurt football fans and, you know, supporters across the whole world um, because people had seen and, you know, had imagined that it was, you know, this person and his presence and his investments in the club um, that led them to be successful in that season and win the Premier League when everybody else I mean, nobody would have ever dreamed a lesser would be winning Premier League in 2015-2016. So it was, a, it was a really, really sad day. But since then, of course, I think, uh, I believe his son took over. And they've also continued to keep the club going um, season after season. All right, uh, that's all we have for you today in history. We are uh, taking a, a very short break again. When we come back, our uh, next conversation is going to be a continuation of what we started yesterday. We're speaking with Professor Ishaka Kintola the director of the Muslim Rights Concern, to talk about a Yoruba Muslim president in 2023.